Hey survivors, welcome back to Fallout 4 Frost. Just got done doing a whole bunch of inventory management stuff, and we are going to be heading back to the area where we were before, which is over to Lexington Station. Now, of course, I messed up, and I didn't go to the one area I was actually supposed to go to over there, uh, which is the upper level of Lexington Station, where the actual quest in Frost, the main quest, uh, really starts. So, that is... I, I guess I'll show you this again... Oh, that's right. I don't. I don't have. I don't have a headlamp here. That's kind of a bummer. Okay, I I do have a torch back there, and I might take it with me because I really am not gonna be able to see anything in some of these areas. It's gonna be way too dark. So, let me grab that torch real quick. Okay, here we go. Let me see. Torch. Yep, we got it. Okay. So I've, I've uh, taken off all of my other armor, just my backpack and my damaged hazmat suit, and that's all. I'm going to put um, my torch on three here. That way we can see by it. Okay, let's go ahead and put it away for now. But yeah, I won't be able to see crap back huh? there, so I definitely need a torch. Huh? I guess I could use a lantern, too. Maybe I should do that. Maybe I should craft a lantern instead. Can I craft a lantern over here? I can like equip. What do I need here? Oil and screw. I can I can find that. All right, I'll be back. Okay, guys, got my lantern equipped here. Now, oddly, um, it acts as a frontal cone, which I don't know. Um, I mean, it's fine. It makes it easier, but I didn't think it would work like that. I thought it would be an area of effect since it's supposed to be like attached to like your waist or whatever but this is fine um you know it's nice and bright and i can see really well so hey whatever not gonna complain so i thought i'd record the whole thing of me walking over here in case anyone wanted to see how you get over to lexington station because of course this is a very important part of the main quest here and i see this question all the time on the forums how do you start the main quest? Where is the first, like, official breadcrumb for it? So I thought I would just show you here. So it's back through downtown. Um, the area that we just passed through over there, that's actually um, very close to where you start. You actually start in the access tunnels, which are very close to that area. Uh, if you go on the red line from the starting area where it forks into three different paths, you can actually get uh, over there. Let me see, do I, what, what food do I have here? I have some squirrel bits, there we go. So hopefully if I take a couple of rad X and have this, uh, this hazmat suit on, which totally, I, I don't know, the, uh, that's really weird how the mechanic of that lantern is probably bugged out. I probably have something, some model that screws it up or something. It's probably my fault. He usually is. But in any case, yeah, we're going over here to Lexington Station, and we're going to free the slaves. We're going to emancipate the slaves. And then we're going to kill uh, Al Six Nails Duval, the evil traitor that betrayed the Federation. Okay, so this is College Square. From here, I think you want to go... Is it back this way? I think this will work. Get my assault rifle out here in case I need it. Yeah, this will work. And we should be getting pretty close here now. Yeah, just back through here. This should lead to it. Oh, that's right. We got to go through all this yet. So much walking. Want to do more fighting. That's what Strong would say. Let's go around this way. Got my gun out just in case. But you never know. Okay, here we go. This is Lexington. We're taking rads now. Still taking two rads per second. Let's go ahead and use some uh, rad X here. I did buy some more rad X specifically for this purpose because I knew I'd be going over here and I brought a whole bunch of wire this time because I don't want to run out still taking a rad per second okay well I have explored this area pretty thoroughly 
and I don't want to hang around in here any more than I have to. I just want to get over to the upper area, which is right over here. You just go through those trains over there, and you go over here, and uh, you should find it. Oh, gotta get the stuff over here, of course. I guess I didn't get this stuff before. And uh, yeah, we're we're not gonna. I've already been back there. No reason to go over there. Don't want to take any more rides than I have to. All right, so we go up the stairs here, and we find some dead skeletons over here, and right over here, people always ask, "Where is this at? Where do you find this?" Right here is the slave's note. Let me go ahead and pick that up on this dead slave right here, okay? He's already dead, don't have to kill him or anything. He's on the stairs here on the way up into the upper area of Lexington Station um, in that irradiated hell we just went through. So, let's take a look at the slave's note here. It's close. I can hear it. The key, the crown, the angel, the serum. Two of four. One north, one south. Parsons beckons, Columbia awaits. Now, this is not really, I mean, it gives you some clues, but by itself, it's kind of dubious, kind of random. It talks about four things, the key to crown the angel and the serum. Now, if you know anything about the serum, you know that there is a serum that is produced by um, Jack Cabot. It makes him immortal. He's actually pre-war. Okay, so... That kind of makes sense, but the key, the crown, the angel, uh, you would have no idea, right? So, this slave says in this note, two of four, one north, one south. So, two of the four things, one is north, one is south. Parsons beckons, Parsons is to the north, Parsons is insane asylum, and Columbia waits. Columbia, you would assume, is down in the south somewhere, but again, that is really really random there's not too much to that so let's keep going through here and find out some more and here is the actual Lexington station here and uh, there will certainly be I'm gonna need some more beer aren't I there will certainly be some hostile people in here now I gotta be careful because some of them are slaves and we don't want to kill the slaves they have done nothing wrong Look at these poor bastards. They're just hanging them up wherever they see fit here. Of course, I will loot stuff here as well. Lots of cigarettes. There's going to be a lot of good loot in here, most likely. All the cans. They must have stole, those, those are from all the stolen supplies they got from the Federation, right? All those cans, those canned goods. All right, and over here, I believe we've got another note. Okay, we're going to hold off on that. This guy is a survivor. He's going to be hostile, I believe. Yep. It's a slave. Oh, shit. This is not a great area to be standing around in. There's someone up here. No, grab some cover. no, no one up here. Okay. That just leads out into Lexington Freaking itself. So these slaves are not me. hostile. So we're not going to kill them. Look at all the money. No, I don't think so, sir. That guy hurt pretty bad. Got to be careful in here. I'm going to go ahead and use a stim pack. I know it's kind of wasteful because I've got so much health, but... Tired yet? Oh, shit, oh. shit, shit. She just crippled me, didn't she? Am I still crippled? No, I'm good. See, I don't have the normal damage reduction I usually have. Right, we're going to loot these guys more later. It's a slave. Also a slave. Okay. You are emancipated, sir. 
You've been liberated. Nope. All right, you guys just cower back there. Let me take care of this, all right? Slave, okay, just you're you're good, sir. You are free now. That's right, you're both free. You just run away. So we got chem station, power armor, armor workbench. Of course, I'm scouting this place out to see if it's a good base. Always gotta think about that. Dead end on both ends over here, looks like. And that is a Malden men symbol. Possible these guys are being influenced by that, and uh, we're going insane. Oh, would you guys calm down? You're free. I have freed you. Go, be free. Someone help! Your masters are dead. Regular survivor there. Slaves and the dead end over here. Let's see here. Nope, nothing on that guy. Help me! Someone! You're free! Go be free, slave. Nice. Stim pack and a blood pack. Okay, so over here we've got survivor. Molotov. Hardened automatic is not bad, but it's not what I really want. Here we go. Jamie Harlan's journal. Suppressed advanced radium rifle. I might take that, even though I don't plan ever using a radium rifle. Uh, just the fact that it's so nice is kind of hard to pass up. So we've got this. Okay, so we've got Jamie Harlan's journal. What does that have on it? I didn't loot this stuff over here either. The slaves have been getting even more superstitious lately. It's probably just all the muties leaking in from the red line that's got them spooked, but I swear they're scared to death. And Driver Feng's certainly not helping. One slave was telling tales with an earshot and the brute threw him to the ghouls. To be honest, I think the poor guy was dead before he reached the bottom of the stairs. I'm okay with forced labor, but we can't just go around murdering them. They're people, for God's sake. Well, at least Jamie had a heart, I guess. Over here by the typewriter, we have Order Decree. From the mouth of six nails. All right, you worthless slugs, you're under my protection now. That means that I graciously keep the muties from ripping you apart, and in return, you shovel scrap. Scavenge the tunnels and bring us everything you find. Rules. If you hide scrap, we'll kill you. If you steal food, we'll kill you. If you have unauthorized meetings or otherwise attempt to rebel against my benevolent rule, we'll kill you. Okay, so that is the order decree from Al Six Nails Duval. Now, uh, the question is, where is Al? Because I don't see him anywhere here. I, I haven't killed him. God, you scared the crap out of me, slave. Just about shot you. Let's calm down. I guess I haven't been over here. How do you get over here? Over, over, there we go. I didn't, totally didn't see that. Okay, missed something here. All right, we've got a battery here. Some money, just some loot, I guess. And a safe over here, nice. They're all unlocked too, which is kind of cool. I guess these guys uh, weren't too worried about the slaves stealing from them because, you know, they would just murder them if they did, so. Okay, so that's all. Oh, what's this over here? Oh, these are these are the ones they threw to the, um, I guess these are the ones they threw to the ghouls. Okay, that just goes down to Lexington Station. Now you can, that's where we came from. I guess I didn't see that when I first came in here, but yeah, they're, those are the ones they threw to the ghouls down there. Okay, so we can go up here into Lexington itself. Um, Lexington, I don't know for sure, but... It's over. 
it's uh yeah it's over you're free now you are emancipated you have been liberated go live your lives as free survivors last time i popped out of here there was a giant bear a really scary giant bear I do remember that. Oh, yep, he's still here. Okay, we're using our crit for that. Goodbye, bear. Lots of ghouls, too. Damn it, it's running away. Crap, carrying too much. Pretty much full. I'm not going to do a whole bunch more exploring out here. I'll, I'll, well... Yeah, I'm not going to worry too much about exploring out here, because I just don't have room. Even with some alcohol, I'm not going to have much room here. Uh, whiskey, yeah, sure. Man, got that guy just barely <laughs> before he hit me. So we got some regular ghouls over here too. Now are they are they friendly? <laughs> that one got me. Maybe I should have had that squirrel stew after all. Just heard running footsteps there. And come back. I, was having fun. I hope to hell the guy with the fat man's not here. No, these guys are friendly. Let's drop that weapon. I don't need it. All right. Well, we are we are very very much full on on uh, weight here, so I'm gonna have to go back now. The question is, I don't think I want to go back through Lexton Station. It's it's so much rads to go back through there. Uh, even though it's quicker to go that way, I think I would prefer to head down to College Square here, go in through there, and then we'll go back to Valenti Station that way. It's going to be the better route. I'll probably do the same thing when I come back through here to loot stuff, but um, I will not be coming back here right away to loot stuff because I've got a whole bunch more stuff to explore in Cambridge. I just wanted to kind of get the the quest started, kind of get you guys started on that, you know, because it's kind of cool. Wanted to get that going here. But I didn't want to like do the whole thing yet. We're not going to just jump through the story really quickly. We're going we're to explore things properly. We're going to take our time. We're going to get all the loot. We're going to look for any anything we can find. So here is where we go back in. But again, we're not going to go back through here. There is a whole bunch of uh, money over here. I will grab that real quick. So that's always useful, of course. I don't know why I sometimes get pre-war money and sometimes I get, um, like, actual, like, regular Frost money. I'm not sure why it is. Um, I've tried disabling all mods and it, it doesn't seem to matter. So I don't know if that's a thing with, like, maybe my game is just kind of borked or something. I don't know. But it is what it is. Give me all that money. A hundred dollars. Yeah. Some good money right there. Okay. So we're going back. Yeah, let's go south here. Let me make a map marker here. Whoa! You know what? Crap, I don't need that. Where'd that little fucker go? This guy's like right above me, isn't he? Uh, luckily he's not the big guy in power armor that normally has a, a fat man. That'd be kind of rough. 
Not over encumbered at least. Oh god, what's going on over here? Fine. Think you can hide? There you are. Show your face. Light him up. Come on. I dare you. Killed my ghouls. That was my experience, you jerks. That is not cool. Oh, that's somebody in the in the basketball hoop there. The ghouls are getting them. Oh, I'm overweight. Crap. Don't need that. You still with enough holes that go down, guys. Military gas math is really good. It's worth 300 caps. I'll always pick those up if I have any spare carry weight. Need more booze, don't I? Some radex, that's convenient. Okay, this this is where you find that uh that raider with the fat man. Hey! Now just despawned there. <laughs> Shit. This calls for Vats, man. Nice. Were you harboring these ghouls, ma'am? There's uh, Corvega, too. I'm a very bad man. Oh well, they deserved it. You know they did. Alright, well that... It's gonna have... To, oh god, don't get stuck in here. Am I stuck? No, I'm good. Isn't there normally a turret over here? I guess not. Not in, uh... This version. Okay. Well. We will come back up here in the future. And clear stuff out properly. But it's going to be a while before we do that. I have to go and clear out Cambridge properly first. Um, it's going to it's going to be a while till we get to that point. So, looks like uh, Cambridge has come back, or some ghouls have come to Cambridge anyway. Put it that way. Yeah, it looks like this stuff has respawned. wonder if that means Cod Square has respawned, too. Yeah, just loot has respawned in here. Oh, I'll go through and see if I can find anything useful in here, but... Mostly I'm just going to go back home. Looks like the cash registers and stuff are empty. Which is the majority of the good loot here. Yeah, just a couple of things. Maybe I, I missed them, too, I don't know. In my initial run-through here. Alright guys, so I got back to Valenti Station, got some sleep, got some food, got some water, dropped off my stuff, all my supplies and stuff, uh, got the supplies I needed, and um, I thought for the rest of this episode, uh, I'd just do some general exploration here. I think I'd like to actually go down to this area. I was just down here in Horizon, and uh, I found a whole bunch of eggs down there. And I thought that'd be great to go down there and get some eggs, and then I'll have a nice supply of those. So, uh best way to get down there I could go through the tunnels I'm not sure what's quicker Hi, I'll probably right. encounter more stuff over land which is good because I want to kill stuff and get experience 
Anyway, down towards Cutler's Bend, there's quite a lot of Mirelurk eggs. I want to go down there and pick those up uh, because they do respawn over time. So the, the sooner I go and get them, the sooner they will respawn for me in game. I think it takes like a week or so for them to respawn. So, but that's going to be quite the trek down there. I've got to go all the way from here down to here. Probably we'll just be able to get down there and get back by the time the sun sets. So I'm going to run down there and uh, I'll see you once I get back. Of course, I'll stop by Opal over here too and uh, buy some stuff. But yeah, I'm just going to skip through all of that and I'll see you once I'm down there. All right, guys, I'm just kind of on the outskirts over here. I guess I'm kind of not really there yet, but uh, I thought, you know... Just take a look around over here. I haven't explored this area as thoroughly as I would like to. I guess this guy, uh... Oh, here we go. Suicide note. I was going to say, what's up with this guy? Looks like he dug a grave for himself and then decided to kill himself out here. What does the suicide note say? We did everything together, Kathy and I. Without her, I just feel empty. I can't go on like this. I can't. Take good care of the boys for me. Well, adios, sir. Let me put you in your grave over here. Can I pick you up? No, I can't. I can just kind of push you over there. Okay, good enough. This is an interesting area down south here because I don't normally... Oh, rad rats. He was hoarding some dollar bills. I think for the next couple of videos, it's going to be mostly just kind of wandering and exploring. Just kind of going around, killing stuff, gathering supplies. You know, that kind of stuff. This is, oh, this is the marina. I can't, if I actually, if I go over here, it will give me that settlement and I'll be totally screwed. I can't do that. Like, if you go over there at all, at least last uh, time I checked, if you go over there at all, it will give you that place, and then you're kind of screwed. Now, remember so there's a sentry bot over here. We could probably take him out with that fusion grenade we have. Just want to make sure we don't miss with that. But, yeah, it should be fine. So he should come out as soon as we go over here. Yep. Let's get ready. You're so dead. Is he not dead? My guy is only at half. Okay, we need some serious drugs then. Fucking kill! <clears throat> oh, we're good. We're good. That was a glorious explosion, though. Wow, that was beautiful. Whoa! Whoa, he's, he's still going. Give me them fusion cores! One of these days I'm gonna get a Gatling laser. I have a whole bunch of fusion cores for it. Alright, well that worked out. Made a hell of a mess of this place, didn't we? Got it. Nice schematic. I'll take all of that, thank you very much. There should be ghouls here. Right? Normally there are ghouls. There are super mutants here, so that means there should be ghouls here now. It's usually how it works. Pretty sure I've not been down here before. Ugh, expert terminal. I could unlock this, and there's a magazine here at least. That's it. There we go. 5% more damage with scoped weapons. That's not bad. It's a nice bed in here. We can sleep too if we need to. Probably end up doing that. Hey, here's Nettie Winter holotape. Message to Claire Pazinski. Time to start thinking about a vacation. How does six weeks in Ireland sound to you? Dublin, Galway Bay, Waterford. Maybe a week in that little bed and breakfast and kill Kenny. And don't worry, we don't have to take my cousin Stephen with us. Let him get out of the country on his own. I told him to threaten that cop. 
not blast him in the face with a shotgun. He can rot in that abandoned fishery down on Union Wharf for all I care. Love you. Eddie Winter, signing off. Just waiting for that to end so I can read this uh, journal here. Let's see what's in here real quick, and then we'll read that journal. Major Arthur Ginn's journal. That has to be pretty important. Major Arthur Ginn wasn't Sweet. wasn't he's he's like Gunners, right? I I know I've read stuff that referenced him before, from what I thought was a, a dead Gunner, but you see here. An account of the New England Commonwealth, year 2082, as penned by Gannon A. I broke the news to Beth today. They're canceling my assignment and sending me back east, to Boston. There's no ETA for my return. I think they mean to keep me out there forever. These last few days on the rig go by too quickly. I find myself recalling all the wonderful memories I've cherished here. The cabin where Beth and I first met, the research libraries where we could read each other ancient tales of heroism and bravery. Now it is my time to be the hero, though I wish it wasn't. This mission is the big one. The president himself saw us off. They smiled and waved as they always do, but I know the deal. They won't, they won't let us back until we find their tech. I feel like the king leaving, leaving Uruk. More progress. I finally tracked down Bishop. He's hiding out with some of his old crew members up in the hand. This could be it. News from back west. Beth is pregnant. My wife and unborn son wait a continent away, and all I've got is this locket and a blurry photograph. After all this time, the story finally comes together. Isker has the key. I know where the Columbia is, and I know what's waiting for us inside. This is big. Bigger than the Enclave knows. We're moving out immediately. Okay, some major, major story clues here. Isker has the Isker was the key. Now Isker has the key. Isker was the key. I wonder if that means literally. So the slave's note talks about. Let me find the slave's note here real quick. The key, the crown, the angel, the serum. It talks about the key very specifically. It talks about Columbia and and uh, Parson as well. Parsons as well. So talks about the key there. This says Isker was the key. It also references Columbia. That seems just too much of a coincidence to not... I don't know. It seems like to just be like a random thing saying that Isker was the key. It seems like too much of a coincidence. That has to be a hint, right? Hiding out with some old, some of his old crew members up in Nahant. This could be it. Um, Nahant... Let me grab this thing real quick. Gotta find the password. This requires a key. I wonder if this has more information. I wonder. Considering it was right by Major Arthur Gann's journal, it seems like it could be a, a, a terminal of some importance. Let me look up top here, make sure there's nothing up here. Now, Nahant is... Uh, Nahant is over... I want to say it's over in this area somewhere, right? Isn't that where Nahant is? It's it's in the north and the west. It's in the west, not in the north, but it's in the west, I believe. That's a part of the quest, though, I'm pretty sure. I wasn't intending to stumble upon that, but... Um, well, I, I guarantee you it's part of the quest. It mentions key information, but uh, how big of a role... I'm not sure, and I believe we're stumbling upon that somewhat out of order from the qu the main quest. Like, you're not supposed to find... Well, I mean, you can find it early, but it's not something that you're supposed to find at this point. This is further along in the quest than what we currently are, but it does mention the hand. So I kind of want to go up there and explore that and see what's there. See if we can find anything significant. But that will probably not be this episode. Because, you know, we're just after some uh, eggs in this episode. Ooh, those rads. Okay, not worth not worth going over there just for a couple, a couple of uh, dollar bills that are probably on that ghoul. 
All right, so we're just we're just looking for some uh, eggs and stuff over here. We're looking for uh, Cutler's Bend. That was over there in Frost. I got a whole bunch of eggs and stuff there. It was quite nice. Some mutt crab there. Might be eggs around here too. Cyan Catcher's Mitt. Doesn't really do anything. Hopefully I can drop that. One thing I'd actually really want, I would actually consider using, would be um, the uh, the baseball bat. Yes. There's the baseball. At least it doesn't weigh anything. That's nice. There's some eggs. Nice. I should go up uh, north. There's the card. Maybe the bat's not here. Maybe the bat's somewhere else. I forget. Never actually used that thing before. Yes. Oh, there's an Unstoppables. 1% chance of just not taking any damage. Is waiting for. So if I had the Wasteland Survival Guide from uh, the Ranger's Cabin way up north, it's like up here. It's quite a ways away, but if I had that, um, I would get meat from the crabs as well. That's a bear. Whoa! Whoa! Holy shit, the experience. I told you guys, it's insane. That wasn't even a very high level enemy. I guess he was high enough, though, wasn't he? Ah, uh, Fallout 4 physics. Fallout 4 physics never changes. That's right, there's some survivors over here. I'm not here directly for them, though. I don't really care about them. They'll give very minimal experience. Man, my AP regen. Oh, more eggs. You just, like, materialize out of nowhere, man. If I go over here... Oh, God. Fools. Still got it, boys. I still got it. Took a little bit of damage there, but it's not too bad. Nothing here. Yeah, crab meat. I would be getting crab meat if I had that uh, Wasteland Survival guide. Are you driving this thing, Mr. Teddy Bear? So, crap, I can't get over here. I could probably just go for a quick dip over there, just go for a quick swim. There's a rad stag. I'm not going to shoot it from here. I won't. I won't hit it. I don't want to go down that way because I'll end up getting that settlement. Just in and out real quick. We're okay. Yeah, we're fine. A little bit of radiation never hurt anybody. Crap. Crap. <laughs> Double crap. Got him. Shooting at a deer and blowing up the neighborhood. So 
right, this is the robotics park. I think Nahant's not too far away from here. These guys just don't really see me, do they? Don't know if I want to mess with all those robots. It's a lot of robots. Oh fuck! That's a death claw. All right, need a drink real quick before I do this. You ain't got shit on me, death claw. High speed shredding minigun. Well, isn't that interesting? I do have a lot of 5mm rounds. Wow, that does a lot of damage. For a minigun, it does a lot of damage. Let me see what this thing has on it. Accelerated barrel gunner sight. That's like the best you could possibly get for a minigun. It's not that heavy. Yeah, it's pretty fun. I, I'm gonna keep that thing. I'm gonna keep it around. I don't know all these things though. Let's go ahead and drop these. All right, scratch one death claw. Anything else interesting out here? I kind of want to swim out there to see what's there, just to see if there's anything cool over there. But there probably is not. Uh, let's see. I need to go east here. More ghouls? Not a problem. Where is he, though? Hope oh, there they are. That minimal recoil helps out so much with getting off quick shots like that. Making sure you're accurate. No, head, 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 head. Scrap Palace, that's right, that's where this is. So for my my level ups here, um, what was I thinking about doing? I've already I already got the city aim perk. I wanted that. I was doing some uh, adamantium skeleton, which is pretty good. I guess it's gonna be a while till I go out to uh, Far Harbor, so I don't need to max endurance yet and get the uh, the perks here. It's not a big deal. Before I go to Far Harbor, I want to max out endurance. I want to get probably lead belly, and nah, not lead belly. I'll, I'll just get solar powered because um, rank three of solar powered regens radiation damage. Um, and rank 2 regens your health, so it's like, why would you care about taking Lead Belly when you can just take Solar Powered instead? I mean, yeah, Lead Belly is a nice perk from, uh, for early on. Like, for level 17, that's great. You can take no radiation from eating or drinking, but, uh, you don't want to eat that stuff anyway because you end up getting infected, so I'm not too worried about this. I think I'd rather go with this for now. Yeah, limb damage is completely eliminated. That's a big deal. You cannot take any damage on your limbs. It's really, really rather overpowered. Let's get over here to the east. Get the location we want to go to here. All I know is I gotta get my eggs. Oh, there's dogs right in front of me. That gave me a lot of experience. Am 
Must have been chowing down these rat rats. I do love how Frost looks in the evening like this. It's getting all, you know, dark and cold out and foggy and stuff. Looks like a place I would not want to live in. Yeah, this is it. This is it right here. Shit. Shit. Like, for right now, I don't really care about rads and stuff because, you know, I've got like 70 or so radaways back at the base, and I can always buy more, too. So it's really not an issue. That's a bear. That is a bear. Boy, he's coming on fast, too. That was easier than I expected. Was not expecting you to one-shot kill on that. Oh, well, nice. I can cook him up here, too. That will help out with carry weight quite a bit. Yeah, this is it. This is the bunch of boat. Oh, God. Holy shit, that was lucky. I want to hit four. I don't have any, any, uh, left here. Where are you guys at? There you are. <laughs> Gotta be getting close to full on carry weight. I'm gonna keep my assault rifle out here just in case I see another, another bear. doing on bottles here. Do I have quite a few? No, not really. I've got some bottles, but nowhere near enough. Fill all that I can here. Just three. Crap. Need more bottles so I can make uh, Mirelic Egg Omelets. And that will reduce my carry weight by quite a lot. It's a crappy bed here. I'm not going to sleep there, though. We're not going to go hungry anytime soon, that's for sure. Saving that squirrel meat for squirrel stew, by the way. Don't have the stuff for it right now. Yeah, I've got like a carrot and a tato a couple carrots and potatoes and stuff back at the base. Need blood leaf though. If I find any blood leaf out here, I should pick that up. I guess they're not going to replace these, uh, there are normally a bunch of Meyer Lurks out here. It's pretty scary. I guess he replaced them all with, with bears, which is pretty cool. Good good choice to replace them with. This is very, like, reminiscent of uh, Far Harbor over here. It's kind of swampy area. How many eggs did I get total? 17, plus I made, like, three of them already. Pretty good. Damn you, freaking railing. He is right around the corner, isn't he? Oh my gosh, he's right out, he's on top. I'm glad he can't jump down. It's 
pretty cool actually that he was on top up there. Ah uh, yes, the crazy sculpture over here. Is this Survivor, uh... No. You wanna fight, bro? You wanna fight? <laughs> Made this nice sculpture over here. Gonna be all kinds of stuff over here. I'm, I wanna keep exploring. I need, uh... Need some bottles. I might go over there and look for bottles and uh, try to make all these omelets so I have some spare carry weight so I can do some more exploring out here. But that's going to be probably next episode, I think. So um, I'm just going to run up here and uh, go back to that Coast Guard pier, sleep in that nice bed in the jail cell over there. And uh, next time we'll do some more exploration around here, looking for Mylurk eggs and other stuff that's useful. So thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.